So in our browser, we'll go to localhost, PHP basics. We named it, well, we placed it in our candy shop folder. And since I named it index.php, I don't have to actually type that. So I can just press enter. And as we can see at the top here, we have our navigation bar or our menu. Then we have our welcome message for our homepage. And it appears that our footer is on the same line, so we can easily fix that. So going back, we probably have to do that for each page. Let's just put a line break here. Go ahead and save that for the contact us page. Put another line break here. And we have the index page we need to change. Put another line break. And as well as for the footer page. And I'm just doing this to try to make it easier for you to read and understand what's going on here. So now, as you can see, we have home products about us, contact us, and we have the footer as well. If we go to the products page, again, we have the same header, we have the same footer, go to the about us. We have the body, same header, same footer, contact us. Again, same header, same footer. So normally, like I said, if we only had HTML knowledge, we would, if we, again, if we wanted to add a news page here, if we wanted to add like a blog page or a downloads page or something else, we would have to go into each one of these pages and update this header file. If we wanted to add something to the footer, we have to do the same thing. So instead, let's say, okay, we want to add this additional page. We want to add a news page. So what I'm going to do is just copy this here. And again, I'm here, I'm in my header file. Since this is the file where we need to edit and I'm going to name this news. I'm not going to make the news.php file, but just to show you an example of what exactly we will have to do, I'm going to save it, refresh my browser. And as you can see here, now we have the news page. And if we go to home, we can see that the news is there. Go to products, we can see that the news is there, about us, and the contact. So as you can see, I only had to modify one file to include this new link that we wanted to add. And if I wanted to delete that, I would just simply have to delete it in this one file. Let's hit save, refreshing on my browser, and now it's gone. And it's reflected on each one of my pages. So hopefully now you're starting to understand why this include command is so great and so useful as a lot of web developers use it. A lot of PHP programmers use it. I use it. Just think again, if you had 15 or 20 or 100 web pages, and you had to go into each one of those pages, that can be really time consuming. So being able to just edit one single file is really a great benefit and a really great command to have. So in the next video, what we'll be covering is another command that's very similar to the include command called the require. And it's really better to use the require than the include, but we'll get more into that in the next video. So that does conclude this tutorial. So definitely be sure to take the quiz online at the phpbasics.com to make sure you understand some of these basic concepts about the PHP include command. And I will see you in the next video.